Hello and welcome back to our channel Code in Peace. In this lesson, we will learn about the most important topic in TypeScript that are arrow functions. Now, what are arrow functions? An arrow function is a type of function in TypeScript that has a more concise and simplified syntax compared to a regular function that we have studied in our previous video. Arrow functions are also known as fat arrow functions because of the equal to greater than syntax used to define them. So, if you just recall our previous session on functions in TypeScript. So you might remember that we performed this function that was for adding the numbers, right? Now what we will do is we will just transform this function into an arrow function and you will get to know how you can use arrow functions in TypeScript. So let's get started. So in order to define an arrow function in TypeScript, what you do is you give a keyword for declaring a variable. So what I will do is I will declare it as constant. And then what I will do is I will declare the name of the function. So that is add numbers. Now till this point, what TypeScript would think is that you are trying to declare a variable, right? But once you give the syntax for the arrow function, it comes to know that, okay, you are trying to declare a function. Let's do that. You give a function name and then an equal to sign. And then after that, you start the round brackets. Now our first variable was a and that was the number data type. And then we had our second variable that was B and that was also a number data type, right? And then after that, what we will do now is instead of using the colon, we will use the fat arrow symbol just like this. And then what we will say is what we want to return, we want to return A plus B. And what this will do is this will add the two numbers A and B directly, right? Now you can see the difference between both of these we didn't use the curly brackets, we didn't use the return statement, right? Just simply what we told that this is our function, we should have two arguments A and B inside it. And what it will return is the answer for the addition of the two numbers that we are going to give it as an argument, right? Now, let's see how you can call this function. So calling function method is always the same, either it is a normal function or either it is an arrow function. Let's just call this function right now. So what I will do is I will declare a variable with the name as let and then result is equals to and then now I will call the function add numbers. Okay. And then we will input the two numbers. Let's say 10 comma 11 console.log just to see what we get as an answer over here. So our program has been built. Now we will try to run it with the help of the node command. So you can see that it performs the same way that it used to did previously. Now you get the answer for adding these two numbers 10 and 11 as 21. It is also important to understand at the same time that you might need to use the return statement as well when you are using the arrow functions. It's not the case that if you are using arrow function, you do not need to use the return statement, right? So let's see when do you need to use the return statement when you are using the arrow functions. So for that, let's have an example. Example two. Now this time what I will do is I will declare a function. Let's say add subtract numbers. Okay. And this time we will make a custom function. So let's say I have a variable X, which is a number data type. And I have another variable Y, which is also a number data type. Okay. And now this time what I will do is I will say that I need something from you, but what is that something now using the fat arrow function, we will this time declare the braces over here. So let's say what I want to do here is I want to add these two numbers, right? So I will just take a variable let addition is equals to x plus y. Okay. Now if you want to return this addition variable, you can simply write return in the next statement and do return addition variable, right? Like this. Okay. But that is not the case what I want to do. What I will do here is I will do another statement as well at the same time. And now what I want to do is I want to take another variable that subtraction is equals to and then addition minus two. So what this will do is whatever the answer we are getting in there in the addition, it will subtract two from that answer. Okay. And then I will say I want return subtraction. All right. Let's also call this function really quickly. So what I will do here is let custom formula because we have did a custom formula over here. Custom formula is equals to add 
subtract numbers and then I will give in two numbers over here let's say 20 and 30 alright and then console.log custom formula alright now what this should do is it should add these two numbers so the answer will be 50 over here right and then minus 2 which would give us as 48 so what you should get is 48 over here is the answer so let's just try to build it And you can see over here that you get 48 as an answer. So this was one of the problem statement where you need to use the return statement within the arrow function as well, right? Now let's quickly move on to the string function example that we did previously. So if you remember, this was our previous example that we discussed in our functions video. By the way, if you haven't watched that video, I have that link in the description below. So this was a function that we did to perform greetings. And now let's see how you can do that with the help of the arrow function. So now this time what I will do is I will again use the constant keyword and then I will use the variable name which will obviously be the function name in my case. And then after that we will use the equal to sign and then we will give in the variable name that will be our input. So what we are saying here is that we will be giving an argument that will be a string data type and then we will use the fat arrow. So what we will do is we will do a quick console.log over here the same way that we did previously. Hello and then the variable for the person name how are you all right now let's quickly go and call this function so calling the function is still the same we will use the name of the function greetings and then we will give in the name of the person Alice so let me just quickly compile it and run it for you and here you go so you can see it tells you hello Alice how are you Alright, so with this, I hope you've got an understanding of how you can use arrow functions. What are the differences between the normal function and the arrow function. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this.